In this video tutorial, I'll be walking you step by step on how to trade the crypto signals that I do send out on the Telegram group and on the WhatsApp group. So um, if you are not on the Telegram group and you want to have access to these free crypto signals, then use the link in the video description to actually join the group and you'll get access to um, these daily free signals that I do send out. So to show you how to take the signals, I'm going to use the Bybit exchange. Okay, I'll be using the Bybit exchange to demonstrate this and the reason for using Bybit is because Bybit will help you to save more of your profit when you are trading because of the low fee that they charge and the interface is user friendly. Okay, so you can do all of this using the Bybit app. If you don't have a Bybit account already, use the link in the video description to sign up for a Bybit account and you get access to all of the welcome bonuses that I do offer to all new subscribers of the Bybit exchange. All right so with that out of the way if i go to my telegram right now so here we are on telegram and this is the signal that i sent before making this video okay and this signal has already the um, take profit has already hit target three okay i think target three years has already been hit so i'm going to use this as an example to walk you step by step on how to take these signals and i hope at the end of this video you should be able even if you're a beginner to start trading crypto features using the signals that i send out daily so what we have here is first we have the um, pair okay the crypto pair that the signal is for which is for reef usdt and this signal is for short okay so when you see sell or short okay is the same thing when you see sell it means short and when you see short it means to sell it means that i am predicting that the market will actually start going down so you are supposed to sell or short the market so in all of the signals, you always see an entry price, okay? And then the leverage recommendation, all right? Normally, I recommend to use between 5 to 10x leverage. You can use as much leverage or less leverage as you want, okay? But this is what I recommend. And then uh, on every trade or every signal, you see target 1, target 2, target 3, target 4, target 5, in most cases, target 6 and 7, all right? So whenever you get these different targets of take profit levels, you are to adjust your stop loss or your take profit levels accordingly. I will show you how to do that. And then there will always be a stop loss. All right. So for those of you who are on the Telegram and you have not um, signed up for Bybit, you can always use my link on every signal to sign up for a Bybit account. Okay. So for this um, signal, we have Reef USDT. So what we need to do is to go to Bybit and then actually look for this token then we look at the entry and i'll show you how to actually place this trade so here we are on the bybit exchange and once you come in here to the bybit app you want to go to where it says derivatives okay so click on derivatives here um the icon in the middle here so click on it once you click on it it brings you to the trading interface once it brings you to the trading inf interface make sure you are on this option which is the standard okay uh, in my own case, I have standard and I have copy trading because I'm doing both. But in your own case, it will just be one. So make sure you are on this option. This is where you will do the buy and the sell, depending on what the signal says. Then if you want to look at the chart of that particular pair before you trade, you can actually go to where it says chart, okay, and look at the chart. But first, once we click on derivative, the next thing we need to do is to look for that coin we want to trade in this case it is reef usdt so click on any coin that is here yours may be um the default on yours may be btc usdt or the recent coin you just traded okay so make sure you click on the coin once you click on that coin this dialog box pops up here at the search bar okay you are going to type the token that i just sent or the signal that i just sent which is in this case it is reef okay so we'll just type reef here so once we type in reef you see reef usdt here okay so i'll go ahead and click on that to select it first we have selected the token the next thing is to select your leverage all right so i always advise as beginners you trade with isolated mode not cross so if i click where it says cross 10x here once i click on it it pops up this way so one thing you want to do here is to select the isolated mode and then adjust your leverage accordingly if you want to use 5s leverage just you know bring this slider backward if you want to use okay with the reef on buy bid you can trade up to 12.5 leverage okay 12.5x so if you want to use all of the 12.5x you can go ahead if you want to use 5x leverage you can go ahead 
if it is 10 8 s leverage whatever you want to use go ahead and adjust that once you adjust it select isolated once you select isolated the next thing is to go ahead and click on save so the current price of this token right now is 0 0.00 2730 which is actually below the entry point 2730 okay that means it would have hit target one okay it means that the market is retracing back because already this actually has hit target three all right this um, signal has already hit target three so it means that the market is actually retracing back all right and um since target one is already taken i would just advise that when you see the signal and it has already gone far just ignore it so if our entry is actually 2751, okay, and it has not hit target one already, then you can go ahead and enter the trade with market order, okay? So if I go back to buy bid, all right? So in this case, you can just go ahead and select where it says limit, okay? When you click on it, you see where it says market, okay? So just use market order to enter. In as much as it has not hit take profit target one or target two or target three, okay if the market is still going low and then maybe the price is lower or a bit higher depending on you know the signal that i sent to you make sure you use market order to enter the trade okay in a case where the market is above the entering price okay if it is close to the stop loss you don't need to take that so it must be the margin between the entering price to the take profit one okay should be you know the difference should be there before you actually enter the trade all right so that is what you want to pay attention to for instance if i'm to enter this market right now and i'm going to use market order i'll just select the limit option here okay and then enter with market order all right so when i click on market the next thing is to select the amount you want to actually risk in this trade and that amount will be calculated for you in the reef token so if i use this slider here all right whatever percentage that i use it means it is the percentage of any amount of money i have on my account balance for instance if i have hundred dollars in my account and then i go ahead and use this slider let's say i bring this slider a bit all right so if i bring it for the bit or i like keep sliding this you see that when i slide it shows 35 percent 30 percent okay 20 percent so all of this as i slide it shows you so if i do it bring it to 50 percent for instance it means that i am using 50 percent of my hundred dollars in this case is that 50 percent will cost me whatever number of reef you see here then here where it says value and cost this is where you will know how much that is going to cost you okay so this is calculated based on the balance i have here so in your own case it will be um, hundred if it is hundred dollars it means that fifty percent will cost you around fifty dollars so you always see how much it will cost you to open a position calculated somewhere around here whether it is a long position or a short position you will see that calculated for you here the green is for long okay and then the red is for short all right so you see the price calculated for you here if you're okay with it you go ahead and do what and either buy long or buy short okay now if i want to use limit order okay when i go and click on market and i select limit let's say our entry i ask that you short the market okay at 0 0.02751 okay if our entry is at 0 0.0251 and the price is slightly above 0 0.0251 what we need to do because it is short because we are shorting okay you can use limit order to enter the market when the price is above the entry point all right so in that case i will now go ahead and click on this and then add 0 0.002 okay um 751 which is our entry and then i'll go ahead and use 100 percent of the level now to set your take profit when you are using limit order okay you need to set your take profit before you open the trade okay so click on this take profit option here okay when you click on the take profit option now you can use the percentage here to calculate your take profit but since i've given you take profit level what you need to do is to go back to the signal okay set your take profit to the last target all right set your always set your take profit to the last target then you can now manually be adjusting your stop loss i will show you how that works so we are going to set our take profit to 0 0.002666, okay?
So here our take profit is going to be 0 0.002366, okay? So once we do 0 0.002366, we, uh, um, Bybit is going to calculate how much, okay, the expected reward you are going to get, all right? So when the market gets to 0 0.00366, okay, this is supposed to be 6, okay? It didn't calculate that, so it's giving me 5, all right? So we'll just go with that. All right, so it means that when the market reaches this level, we are going to make this amount of money. All right, so we're going to make that amount of money. Then the stop loss, you're going to add the stop loss price here as well. So if I go back to the um, signal, the stop loss say we should put stop loss at 0 0.002866. Okay, so come back here again. Our stop loss will now be 0 0.002866. All right, so it gives us 6.5 and then uh, if it gets to that price we're going to lose this all right so once you are done with this okay so there is a mistake in this okay i'm ca calculating this on the long option make sure you select the short because we are shorting all right so make sure you select short all right so once i select short it gives you a calculation of what you make and what you lose if it hits your stop loss so once you are done with that go ahead and click on confirm all right so once that is confirmed because we say sell or short we are going to use the sell and short option so i'll go ahead and click on sell or short so once the order is placed successfully you will see it because it is a pending order the price has not hit our target yet because it is a pending order you will see it here in your open order okay in your orders all right so if i click on orders here you see the order we just placed to sell okay so until that price okay the reef price get to our entry this will not be triggered okay so this will be pending all right so now that this is pending we'll wait until it is triggered but in a case this is when the price is either above or below the entry price all right and what i said again once the price has hit take profit target one or target two don't enter the trade again just wait for another signal okay once it uh, once you come in and see that the pro the signal for that particular token has hit target one or target two please don't enter the trade again and if the price is very close to the stop loss do not enter the trade again wait for another signal all right so this is how you use limit order okay to set your orders and then when the price hit that target it goes ahead and trigger that for you all right but what in the case where you enter with market order Okay, you just come in here you select market order and you go ahead and enter the trade when you enter the trade the trade will be triggered immediately and you will see it here where it says position okay so if i click on position you will see it here although this is for op so um i'm, I'm just going to use this to show you when you enter a trade already how to now add your take profit okay so when you enter with market order after entering the trade you can now come back and manually set your take profit and your stop loss level Okay, so let's assume I've sent a signal for this particular token that is trading. Now, what you now do after entering the trade, you will now go ahead and click on this set take profit and stop loss option. Once you click on it, it pops up again. All right, this is for a trade that you have already taken. Now, when it pops up, all right, you are going to put in the take profit price here. Okay, if there are target one, two, three, four, five, put the take profit target five here and then put the stop loss option here. Okay. So in this case, let me assume that the take profit is 100%, for instance. It means that when this token gets to this, okay, I'm going to sell, all right? And then once this sell, it means that uh, I am getting a return of 100% and I'm going to make this, okay? This is how much I'm risking, so I'm getting 100% of that back, all right? And then the stop loss will be whatever you set up here will be that, all right? So once you set the stop loss, you go ahead and click on confirm, okay? So once you click on confirm, now when the trade enter take profit one, okay, what you now need to be doing is to be adjusting your stop loss accordingly. So for instance, here on this um, 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 on this signal here, so for instance, for this signal, this signal already hit target, take profit target one, target two, and target three, okay, before it reverses back. That is the market for you, that is the crypto market for you to always go and then reverse back. All right so when it hits take profit target one you will now adjust your stop loss from this to your entry okay 
So when you hit take profit target two, you will adjust your stop loss that you already adjusted to you know your entry to target one. All right. So when it hits target three, you will now adjust your stop loss to this price at target two. So that is basically how you keep adjusting. And how do you do that? If I go back to the trade again, okay, let's assume that the trade is already running as you can see here. All right. So the trade is already running. And now that the trade is running, what I will now do is to go ahead and click on this take profit and stop loss option. All right. So once I click on it, if the take profit if the, the trade has already hit target one what i, what I will now do is to adjust by putting the entering price here okay the entering price is what i'm going to put here so on the stop loss i will now put 0 0.00 okay um two eight six or whatever the, uh, the stop loss is you go ahead and put that here all right so when the trade hits take profit target two okay you will now adjust the stop loss to this price here when he take profit target three, you adjust the stop loss to this price here. So you continue to adjust that. When he take profit target four, you adjust it here. So what this simply means is that if for any reason the market goes down in your favor and then reverses back to this profit, you are not completely losing, okay? It means that if this was 10%, you have made 10% in the market. If this was 20%, you have made 20% in the market. If this was 50%, you have made 50% in the market. That way, even if the market start going against you, it will not hit your stop loss, but you are making a little profit out of the market. Okay. So another thing I need you to pay attention to is when I send a signal and this is the entry, once the entry is close to the take target one, okay, and it has not hit target one, you can take it. But once it has hit target one, target two, and the rest, don't take the trade again, wait for another signal. All right. I hope you understand this and I hope you'll be able to implement this and always enter once the price is within the entering price always enter with market order don't start waiting because the more you delay the more the market will go um, far away from you so always enter with market order and then now come back okay to set your take profit and stop loss as I've showed you so your take profit will always be target 5 or the whatever the highest target is Okay, and then you continually adjust your stop loss. So when you hit take profit target one, you come and adjust your stop loss to the entry. When you hit take profit target two, adjust your stop loss to the take profit target one. So you continually adjust that so that if for any reason the market reverses and you know is going um, the opposite direction, you'll be able to you know uh, actually um, secure some profit before the trade goes against you. All right. So for the pending order that we enter with limit, if you want to cancel it, you can just come to the orders and then click on where it says cancel and you will cancel that. Okay. If it doesn't trigger after um, some time, just go ahead and cancel it because when it's pending and you see that the price keep going the opposite direction, just cancel it and wait for another signal. All right. So this is how you take the signals on the Bybit exchange. It applies to any other exchange you want to use. All right. But the user interface on Bybit is very friendly and another thing is because of the low fee they charge. So I recommend that you use Bybit. If you don't have Bybit, always use the link that I post to sign up for a Bybit account. And if you if there is anything you are confused with, if there is anything you don't understand, please use okay, use the, the comment section or you can join the telegram and ask your questions there and I will attend to read. If you are new to the channel, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that, okay? Support me by subscribing to the channel, hit the notification bell so that uh, whenever I publish videos like this, you'll be the first to be notified, all right? That is all I have for you in this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.